Yeah. It, let me ask you a question. Um, how many of you all sitting out there in the audience tonight, raise your hand if you feel like there is the potential that Orangeburg can become an amazing place. Amen. All right. How many of you people think, or how many of you are frustrated? Okay. I, I just want you to know, we do this all over the country. I'm in a different community every single week. Between this team, we have 13 children. Most of us left them on Father's Day to come down here and work with you all. This is one of the best attended public meetings we've ever had, and it is probably the single best racial mix we've ever had in a public meeting like this. You are black, you are white, you are young, you are old, you are from here all your life and you just moved here yesterday. You are the ones who are going to be able to make this happen. We believe in it. We, we have been very, very impressed with some of the things that we have already seen. And it is very difficult when you live somewhere and you know how long it takes to get work done. I always tell communities this. When you live in a community like Orangeburg, it's like owning a classic car. Those classic cars take constant work and constant investment. That's why those people take them out to cruise ends and have everybody else tell them how beautiful their car is. Because they'd be crazy to keep doing all that work and money in it if they didn't get something out of it. You have a real American classic. The Sand Hills up in Columbia, that's going to be a 10-year-old shopping mall here soon. And you guys have a classic downtown in a classic southern community with a population that has learned to live together. And we are excited about what's going to happen this week. Please, we want you all to join us on Thursday. We want you to tell your friends and neighbors. The more people who can see this vision and get excited about the opportunity, the more the mindset about Orangeburg can change. You've got all the ingredients you need, and hopefully with a little bit of creativity and a little bit of shaking things up, we'll be able to, to keep it moving forward. But thank you all from us. We're so glad you came out and joined us. Can I, can I preach to you real quick? All right. That was a pretty good sermon, wasn't it? <laughs> You're getting out here first saying amen. All right. Now, I'm a part-time preacher, too, so here's my sermon. Ed. That was really good, though. <laughs> hey, he's already told me I'd, I'd make a good preacher, but I could learn how to cuss less. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I got a feeling that a lot of people in this room know this verse. Proverbs 29, 18 says, Without a vision of people, perish. Yeah. Yeah. In our business, without a vision, the people are unrestrained. The picture is it means people are going in all these different directions. What this vision, the reason we call it a vision plan, is we want to give you a roadmap that constrains people so that everybody's going in the same direction. Okay? That is what we desire for you. We want to give you that big picture, that big vision. So come on Thursday, and let's see if we can all pull together in the same direction instead of going a lot of different directions. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. See you Thursday, too.